Oceanix is an entirely new kind of city. It floats on the ocean. The first one is slated to be built in South Korea, Busan, and will provide a sustainable, luxurious future at an affordable cost for those who live there. Hello and welcome to Future Today. If you enjoyed this video at any point, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. Oceanix floating cities are a new concept in housing. These cities are designed to provide a better way of life for the inhabitants by providing them with modern amenities and facilities. The Oceanix floating city is based on three key principles. Sustainability, resilience, and affordability. It is an innovative solution to the current housing crisis and will make living more affordable for all its inhabitants. The first city, which will be located on the shores of Busan, will have a complete zero-waste system, with every bit of it being converted back into renewable energy for the locals. Most interestingly, the floating city will be home to a unique ocean technology that produces the only marine construction material that grows, heals itself, and becomes stronger with age. Oceanix will also include shared and multimodal mobility and active modes for an integrated, mixed, and productive community with reduced transportation demand, completely free of charge. The plan is based on 4.5 acre hexagonal floating islands that are towed out to sea and anchored in place to ensure their safety and security and are designed to withstand a Category 5 hurricane. The design scheme is made up of six modules of villages, and the same form of the village is repeated and expanded outwards that can be multiplied. The floating metropolis is designed to provide a livable environment offshore in the event of rising sea levels, which according to scientists are anticipated to impact 90% of coastal communities worldwide by the year 2050. Locally obtained traditional building materials like wood and bamboo will be used in the construction, giving the overall floating urbanscapes a natural softness. Additionally, to implement food manufacturing and agricultural practices that strictly adhere to a zero-waste philosophy, as well as combining various renewable energy sources like wind, water turbines, and solar panels. Each island is built to support 3,000 square meters of open agricultural space that may be used for both farming and recreational purposes. Oceanix City will have floating landscapes as well as live communal areas, markets, spiritual and cultural centers, and public baths. Buildings will have larger roof surfaces with more tapered designs for more solar panel space, and the structure itself won't rise higher than four to five stories to maintain the design's ability to adapt to any culture and any type of architecture. Floating cities mark a departure from land reclamation models as a means of creating new land. Pontoon-style floating caissons and semi-submersible platforms are the two primary construction methods for big floating platforms. The shallow, calm waters where Oceanix will first be deployed are more suitable for floating caissons. The most typical building material for floating caissons is concrete. These caissons made of concrete float on the ocean's surface because a body submerged in a fluid exerts an upward buoyant force equal to the weight of the fluid it displaces. The Archimedes principle can be used to maintain city-scale infrastructure, including buildings, parks, roads, and utilities, even during a mild drought. Building begins with floating platforms that act as both the foundation and the ground on which to erect buildings and other facilities. In order to address the difficulties that had to be taken into account when developing such floating villages, extensive location studies pertaining to both the water and the surrounding area ocean stake scare to respect the local communities as well as the water as an aspect while developing a site-specific project. Engineering-wise, the technology is already established. All that has to be done is to make adjustments for city-scale applications and liveability. Since 1905, concrete caissons have been an essential part of construction technology. Examples of contemporary floating caissons include New York City's Pier 57, which was constructed in 1954 and is still in good shape. 
The company's mission is to create the first sustainable society at sea. The first of these cities will be built in 2020 and will be able to house up to 10,000 people. The idea for this project was born out of the desire for a new type of society that would not have to deal with many of the problems that plague our current one. This includes overpopulation, climate change, and economic inequality. Oceanix will provide a unique destination for visitors. The eco-lodging platform provides hobby view guest rooms, organic dining, communal terraces, and skylight greenhouse amenities. Designed to maximize waterfront views, the elongated ground level is activated with eco-retail and local dining options. The project also contains a co-working and maritime research hub. Ground level entrance invites the community into a shared winter garden. The temperature-controlled central atrium provides respite from Busan's cold winter months and grows food in a forest of hydroponic towers for all to enjoy. The living platform provides supportive spaces for sustainable, circular living. The village of residential buildings and local cultural programming is complemented by the community backyard in the heart of the platform, encouraging gathering between residents. They are also self-sufficient with their own power plants and supply chain. Oceanix floating cities will be the perfect solution for people who want to live in a sustainable environment but don't want to give up the amenities of living in a city like New York or London. Would you ever consider moving to a floating city?